Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jibs here from Lore Forged, and it's no secret we love lore around here. So today we're taking a look at the religious group in Ashes of Creation called the Orders of the Seven. Let's jump in. So I was looking around the Ashes of Creation wiki for lore one day, and I came across an organization that I'd never seen. Countless times I've studied lore on the wiki, but for whatever reason, I had never seen this group before. And this group was called the Orders of the Seven. Seven more orders, that's In short, the Orders of the Seven are religious organizations corresponding to the seven grand temples of Vera. Now this includes the Order of Hope, which is an alien human order based in the capital city of Ayla, whose patron deity is Resna. Then we have the Order of Fate, a Kyvek orc order based in the capital city of Wren, whose patron deity is Norlin. Orc blood. Then we have the Order of Truth, a Pyrian elven order stationed in the capital city of Amera, whose patron deity is Shul. What I found interesting about this was at some point during the transition from Sanctus to Vera, the Orders of the Seven formed an alliance called the Light Pact. Now the details on the Light Pack are a video unto themselves, but what caught my eye was the Light Pack's description that read, quote, The Light Pact was an alliance of the Orders of the Seven created by the four major races of Vera in order to solve the mystery of the Harbingers. Now, for what the Harbingers were, I'll link that in a video above. Watch it! But let's focus down for a minute on the verbiage, quote, An alliance of the Orders of the Seven created by the four major races of Vera. Four major races. Earlier we learned that Aelin humans, Kyvek orcs, and Pyrian elves were listed. Did you notice somebody missing? I definitely did. That's my wee lad, Gimlet. If four major races formed the alliance, where are the Dunes and Kill Dwarves in all of this? Were they not listed intentionally as some out of world reveal to gamers at a later date? Maybe corresponding to some piece of content in the game that we'll experience? Or could this be something more? Being a huge dwarf fan in general, I couldn't let this go. So I began to think, if the dwarves were in the Order of the Seven, why aren't they listed here? How could this major race, who is fabled to be the very first race ever created, be left out? Is it because their once capital city of Dunheim was destroyed in years past and they never recovered? Was it because of some falling out between religious sects? Political intrigue? In truth, we don't have the answer. However, let's assume the dwarves were still in the Orders of the Seven today. What would that look like? Dwarves are brave, yes, stalwart defenders, of course, often known in common fantasy to stand shield to shield against an overwhelming enemy. Dwarves can be fiercely loyal to their own, protecting their family over their own well-being. And finally, dwarves are proud. They're proud of where they've come from, what they have, and where they're going. They believe in tradition and the freedoms they're in. So on that note, if the dwarves were in the Orders of the Seven today, in my opinion, they would be called the Order of Courage. They would base their operations out of the very established, and very old, City of Dune, as much of the dwarves already live there. Unless, of course, you're a Nakuan dwarf soaking up the sun's rays in a pink floaty off the coast of the Fortunic Ocean. Got twinkly lights, floaty boats. And because the Dunes and Kill Dwarves exceed, perhaps better than any other race on Vera at their knowledge of creation, I believe the Dunes and Kill Dwarves would honor the goddess of creation herself as their patron within the Order. So there you have it. We now know what the Orders of the Seven is in Ashes of Creation, but we also had some fun crafting what could be in addition to this lore. I know there was some speculation in this, and that's not everyone's cup of tea, but I hope you enjoyed this nonetheless. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Jibs from Loreforged, and if you enjoyed this, let us know in the comments below.